Hi, I'm James from NCC. Today we're doing a bit of housekeeping and I'll be testing some power supplies to find out which ones we'll be keeping and which ones we'll be chucking away. Before I continue, if you find this video useful, please click like, subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Continuing, tools that I'm going to require for this job is a digital multimeter. Multimeter you can find at any good electronic shop or uh, uh, automotive spare shops. I will also be requiring the use of a paper clip. If you do have one of these plastic paper clips, you're going to need to strip off some of the ends uh, and you're going to need to bend it in a U shape. Right, before I continue, let's have a look at our power supply. Right, looking at our power supply, it has a tabby. This tab is what holds it in place when we connect it to our motherboard. With the pad tab facing away from me, starting from left to right is pin 1 to pin 12, 13 to 24. Now as you can see there, it's made up of multicolored wires. So if you do have a gaming power supply that has a single color, I will be putting the pinouts in the description for you. So check it out. Right, now these multicolored wires each has their own indicated voltage. Right, starting with the orange wires, they are plus 3.3 volts. The, all the black wires are ground wires. The red ones, as you can see there, is plus 5 volts. The yellow ones, there's a yellow one, is plus 12 volts. I also have a gray wire here. A gray wire indicates power good. I also have a purple wire. The purple wire is also plus five and it is my standby. On the other side, I also have still oranges, still reds, still blacks. The only two that is different is the blue wire and the green. Now the blue is my only negative one. Now that is a negative 12 volts. The green wire here, this is my power on. So when I press the power button on my PC, this wire is what ultimately turns on my PC. Right, so when I'm measuring using my multimeter, I am not necessarily going to get a voltage. Uh, let's say I'm measuring my orange wire and my orange wire is plus 3.3 volts. So I'm not necessarily going to get exactly 3.3 volts. So what does it mean? means that all of them have an indicative tolerance. All the wires except for the blue has a plus or minus 5% tolerance. The blue one has a plus or minus 10% tolerance. So the oranges, which is 3.3, will have a voltage range from between plus 3.135 up to 3.465. The 5 volts, which is our red wires, will have a voltage range of between plus 4.75 up to plus 5.25. Uh, my, my yellow wire will have a voltage range from plus 11.4 up to 12.6. Now the negative one, which I said has a tolerance of plus or minus 10%. So this one, it will be in the range of minus 10.8 up to minus 13.5. Point two. So how do I go about testing my power supply? Right, so I take my U-shaped paper clip and I am going to have to bridge out points the green wire with one of the blacks. So I'm going to somewhat take pin uh, 16 and 15. 16 would be my green and 15 would be my ground wire. So I'm going to ground it out. Right, so now I'm going to hook up my power supply to my electrical outlet and let's get started. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust the camera here so that you can have a look and see. Right, I'm going to press the power button and the fan turns on. Fan turning on does not necessarily mean my power supply is working. Right, so I am still going to be testing it using my digital multimeter. Right, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to DC voltage and I'm going to turn it up to 20 which is the range that I am going to be testing. Right, so I'll be putting it up somewhere there and I'm going to be using my two test leads. Hooking it up to my uh, connector here, I'm going to use the black lead is going to go to any of the ground wires and I will be testing a, a orange wire. All right, if I test the orange wire, the readout I'm getting on my multimeter, let me just adjust here. So 3.17 volts so that is still within my range so if I move on to a yellow wire I will see that it reads out 11.59 11.59 which is at the low end of my range but it is still within range measuring my purple wire which should be 5 volts, and this one measures 5.14. Uh, moving on to a blue wire on the other side, measures 10 or minus 10.85, which is right at the bottom of my scope. All right, so this is how easy it is to test a power supply. All right. So I can continue and test out all the leads, all of them, to make sure that I do get the correct voltage. Right, um, any more information, I will put leave it in the uh, description, check out our page, hopefully you enjoyed this video, thank you very much.